So I'm making biochar tonight. I don't know if you can see anything. But uh, I get little sticks like this. A lot of people use big ones, but I'm just using these little these little Weber containers here. These little bitty Weber. I think they're called Smoky Joes. But I'm breaking the sticks in them. I mean, there's something like the size of my hand. I just grab handfuls of them at a time and break all my little dry twigs I use for fire starters. And that's what I'm throwing in there. And I, you can take a look in the picture there, you know, in the video there, and see inside there, you see they kind of, what they do is oh, you're just burning all that, the gas coming out of them and fuel coming out of them, but you're not, you're not making ash. And so what's left is charcoal. And then I pour some water out of it then to kind of activate a little bit and separate it up. And, and whenever you have a piece of charcoal, you have tons and tons of area for that the bacteria to get into and the microorganisms to get into in the soil and last a long time. Alright. You know, so I was thinking that, you know, I'm using twigs out of my trees. They just fall out of the trees pretty much. Or I, that whenever I'm trimming the trees, I get tons of twigs. Uh, but if you're on unimproved land, especially like where we're selling land a lot of, like out in the West Texas area, you got tons of mesquite trees. You can trim that off and just let it dry out and just trust me the mesquite tree will grow back ask anybody and you'll have plenty and you can put it in the soil and you can actually improve your soil instead of having a desert there you put that carbon back in the soil and then you can decrease your footprint you're, you're just literally carbon sequestering we're just putting it back in the soil and there's microbes have place to live and you you use that compost tea i'm making pour it on top of this stuff and you're golden you're golden